All right, so this just happened. It was very last minute, so I'm gonna ask you to do two things. One, ignore the hair and ignore whatever's going on over here because we need to talk about Kingdom Motherfucking Hearts, okay? Kingdom Hearts just got announced. The entire series, including Melody of Memory, are coming to PC on March 30th. There's a catch, it's an epic exclusive, so that really means it's coming to PC like six to 12 months later, but that is crazy. That's, that's legitimately awesome. Kingdom Hearts, finally on PC. It's been way too long. I was I was actually pretty confident that they would bring it to PC with Kingdom Hearts 3. Never happened, so that kind of sucks, but this is like a Persona level announcement here. Like, Persona 4 coming to Steam, and Kingdom Hearts all come into uh, Epic, even, even though it's Epic. This is all crazy awesome. So, uh, whoops, boop, there we go. Let's take a look here. So we do have it all. It's launching on March 30th, um, so a little over a month from now, but they're being bundled, um, they are being bundled separately. So the unfortunate bit to this is that they are being priced at 60 each, except for uh, 1.5 and 2.5. This one is actually, um, 1.5 and 2.5 is actually not bad. I'd pay 50 bucks for that on Steam, but um, good luck getting me to pay 60 for 2.8. Melody of Memory or Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> That's not, um, it's not gonna happen. So, I think they should have done 60 bucks for the all-in-one collection. Even that is only 30 on PlayStation right now and 10 bucks a month on Game Pass. So, this is honestly really bad pricing. And uh, by the time it comes to Steam, I'm sure, yeah, most of the people in the comment section, even Fidel, uh, commenting on the, the high prices. So. Um, I would absolutely recommend that in the meantime, uh, you either wait for the Steam release, because I'm sure it'll be cheaper by the time that comes out, or you, um, put on the old pirate hat, because, uh, no way is anyone paying 200 plus for uh, Kingdom Hearts on PC. As cool as that is, I might grab, uh, it, when it comes to Steam, I will absolutely be picking up 2.5 uh, and 1.5. Even at 50 bucks, I still think that's worth it, but the rest, I'll have to kind of wait and see on. Um, in the meantime, I do have all these games at 60 FPS 4K on my PS5, so it's not like I'm really in any rush. Uh, plus, I have Game Pass, so I have them all on Xbox as well. So it's not like I'm in any rush, but um, it is still amazing that these games are coming to PC. It's definitely been a dream of mine for a long time. Man, hopefully we can get some cool, like, official mod support now, instead of having to download PCSX2 and play, like, all the randomizers and stuff on an emulator. We might be able to get some actual official Kingdom Hearts mods. And King mods for Kingdom Hearts 3? This, this shit's gonna be really cool. So, that's pretty much it. I just had to make this quick update video. I wasn't planning on actually doing anything today, so I had to, like, just get up and stop what I was doing to come talk about this. But, if you're as excited as I am, because this is like a dream come true right here. Even though it's being done in like the wrong way, like there, there's no way they could have messed this up more other than making it a limited release or something. Like that's the only way it could be even more fucked up, but you know, 60 per game, that's pretty bad. Epic exclusive's pretty bad, um, but obviously it's a timed exclusive, so we'll see how long that lasts. And when the Steam release comes around, I hope they really take a look at that pricing, because that's not, uh, not very good pricing on this kind of question. But seriously, let me know what you think. Hopefully this leads to even greater things down the line. Because Kingdom Hearts was like one of the last big holdouts. One of the last big, like, just come to PC already kind of games. Um, but uh, I'm very excited. So let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next one.